Hey, hello friends, uh, how are you? So I'm back with the second part of uh, the video because in the first part we already covered most common questions related to some tool and in this video we will cover most uh, critical questions that an interviewer can ask you in interview regarding the sum tool if you haven't seen my first part of sum tool interview questions so please go there and watch that first and then then this video is more helpful to you okay basically the first video we we prepared for for two or three years of interview uh, interviews uh, the basic question we covered there regarding some tool but in this video we will we'll just explore it more and uh, we'll discuss further about the critical question that 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 can be asked in an interview okay but but uh, before going to that questionnaire i have one one question actually because as you know that i'm putting my 100% right maybe i'm lagging somewhere i don't know but but you have the comment section right it is open for everyone so you can put your comments there if you need any kind of improvement or or if you have any kind of topic that uh, you are lagging and you need me to more uh, uh, explore on the topic or more uh, i can update you on the topic so you are free to just uh, put your comments and and i i i i make sure that i will put my 100% and i will i will prepare a video on the topic as well but but uh, you have to be hey, do a favor for me right because um, everyone is watching the video but no one is subscribing actually because it it's disappointing me actually because i don't know maybe i'm not providing the good content uh but but i will try actually that's why i'm asking the comment section is open for you you are always free to put your comments and i will try to resolve your queries and now we'll not waste any time and we'll just go with the questionnaire so um be focus on this video because it it help a lot actually to just clear your interview if you are putting some related stuffs in your resume okay okay so i think we already covered uh, most of the questions that are uh, basic questions but but i am just repeating one question here that is uh, uh, what are the phases in some tool because it's common common question actually and you have to be aware that what are the phases we have in some tool uh so as this question already covered in previous video i put it again okay because it's it's uh, really important so in some tool we have six phases uh, extraction configuration check pre processing execution and post processing and this is the only flow it will start from extraction and go till post processing uh then uh, if we will we'll talk about the other option that is how you will log in in shadow instance so it's also a question that everyone will ask so how you log in in your shadow instance so basically uh, when shadow instance will be created you have to add the shadow instance in your sap gui with the shadow instance number and you have to use your didic user and triple zero client to log in in the shadow instance then spdd spau will come in which phase so uh, you have to be remember that spdd every time in any some process spdd will come in pre processing phase only okay it is near about uh, 32 or 33 percent it will come in pre-processing phase but spau will come in post-processing 
because it, it's a little bit confusing actually because uh, some uh, uh, they, they they cannot uh, just make the difference because spdt and spu both will not come in pre-processing phase spdt will come in pre-processing phase and spau will come in the post-processing phase you have to be uh, very clear on that point uh, where do you need to do the spdd adjustment okay so spdd adjustment uh interview will ask actually this uh, multiple time they asked me as well uh, where you will do the spdd adjustment and and on six or seven year experience also they will ask that question so spdd adjustment need to be done in your shadow instance only because your 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 uh, your, your uh, um, um shadow instance uh, is the instance where the actual upgrade will happen okay and uh, we have to do the adjustment in spdt uh, in uh, okay in pre-processing you know right we have to do in last question only we cover uh, spdt will come in which phase it will come in uh, pre-processing phase and which instance you have to do it you have to do in shadow instance how you log in in shadow instance you have to use uh, uh, you have to add your shadow instance in your sap gui with shadow instance number and you have to use your dedic user client triple zero to log in in the shadow instance once you log in in your shadow instance then you have to create a separate user for ABAP team Okay, maybe you can copy your dedic user and make a uh, make a, a new user for ABAP team and you can see uh, the the password with the ABAP team and they have to do the adjustment in shadow instance. Okay, so you have to be be clear because interviewer will will rotate you on this this, this question only. Um, now, uh, if we'll talk about um, in which phase you will get all the component information related to target release uh, when you will will run the sum tool so in we have six phases right initialization um, sorry we have six phases extraction configuration tax pre-processing execution post-processing uh, and all the component information will be provided in configuration phase okay it is uh, in the initial phase on in, in the in the starting when uh, your sum tool is running on 10 or 12 percent it will provide you all the component information and if you are not okay to go on that component target release level you have the option to make it the minimum level as well where the sum tool will provide what is the minimum level you have to go what is the target level is chosen and uh, according to your your software download directory uh, how much uh, level or how many levels sar file you provided in download directory it will, it will provide the the target release if you don't want to go that higher level so you can make it the minimum level as well okay uh, let's go with the next question so what will happen in extraction phase as you know the extraction phase is the initial phase uh, in some tool when you start the sum tool so first phase is the extraction phase only so in extraction phase uh, multiple tasks uh, the sum tool will do basically so some tool will ask the xml file so you have to provide the xml file location in extraction phase only then some tool will ask you the didic user uh, client triple zero password that it will use to do uh, the software update and uh, it will also ask the the db label password for system user or schema user in in extraction phase only and and at the end when you will provide these kind of information it will it will also check the spam version of your system if it is not up to date so it will update this time spam version and and let's see that here you, you haven't downloaded the latest spam version 
file in your download directory so it will not go next actually it will ask you to update the spam first so you have to download the spam file from software download marketplace and you have to put that file in so download directory or maybe you can provide uh, put that file in in your uh, uh trans directory as well uh, trans eps okay the uh, download where uh, also it will it will get the uh, uh, the file and it will update the spam version so the, these are all are the activities will happen in extraction phase so let's let's go with with uh, next question what will happen in in configuration phase uh, you know that configuration phase is the second phase when extraction completed some will enter in the configuration phase and in the in the configuration phase uh, some will do multiple tasks basically uh, it will ask you the uptime and downtime processes that is more important actually everyone will ask you that, uh, that this, this thing actually where do you have to define the uptime and downtime processes in some tool so basically in the configuration phase only it will ask how many r3 or r3 load processes you have to use in uptime how many processes you have to use in downtime so it 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 has actually one standard note and it, it depend on your your hardware capability uh, according to that you have to use the uptime and downtime processes so i will create one separate video on that point because it it's uh, really very important to know that how we have to decide that how many processes i will take in uptime and how many processes i will take in downtime okay uh, so oh, that the thing you have to provide in configuration phase only then then it will uh, check all the missing notes some will check all the missing notes as well in your configuration phase only Let, let's say some 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 found three or four notes uh, that are missing in your system and and these are prerequisite notes so he ask you, some will ask you to just apply these note first because some will will put the error and it will not go next uh, you have to apply the notes first then only it will go in next phase then uh, uh, also as we already discussed in the configuration for phase only it will it will provide all the target release information that uh, some will go in some is going to upgrade and which target level is going to upgrade all the components and and at the end of configuration phase it will ask you the shadow instance number for shadow instance creation so all these are the the the, the steps that uh, need to be done in configuration phase uh, that some tool will take care actually in configuration phase so whenever the interviewer will ask that what are the activities some tool will perform in configuration phase so in configuration phase it will ask uptime and downtime processes it will ask all the missing nodes that we have to apply in our our system it will uh, provide targetly information and it will it will ask for the shadow instance number in the configuration phase only so these all about the configuration phase and uh, now we have uh, uh, after the configuration phase will enter in the check phase then will enter in the pre-processing then execution and configuration so we cannot cover all the things in this video because already it, it reached uh, uh i think 15 minutes so we'll we'll make a small small videos so after that uh, the the next phase is checks um, uh, pre-processing extraction um, sorry checks pre-processing execution and post-processing i will cover in third part of this video so please be here and uh, wait for my third part of this uh, uh, video where we will we'll cover remaining phases but but i uh, make sure that uh, um, before leaving uh, this video you will do the subscription for the channel so you'll get all the updates uh, quickly let's see the, maybe after two days or three days i will up to update the third part of that video so you will get notified and and in your uh, latest videos you will get that video so you can go and watch that video 
yeah that's all uh, from my end if you have any kind of comment or any kind of suggestion uh, the comment section is open for everyone uh, you are uh, good to provide your comments and i will try to resolve your queries yeah thank you thank you all